Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of arc. A for arc, B for basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Ah, Scorched Earth, Land of One, uh, what, who are we kidding? This place is hot and everything wants to kill you. And today we're going to be talking about the 10 best dinosaurs to help you on your journey in Scorched Earth. We're going to be talking about the best dinos, the ones that'll get you the biggest bang for your buck, the ones that'll move you ahead further on your way to beating Scorched Earth. So, hey, let's jump right into it. The first one is the Procoptodon. Yeah, these little guys to help you imprint all sorts of different things. Uh, they You unlock their saddle at level 23, and the easiest way to uh, knock them out is to either just hunt, track them down, follow them down, and then run them down with a long neck, maybe even a crossbow, or just trap them in a bear trap, and then, uh, yeah, you can get them pretty easily with a crossbow that way. These guys are fast. So when you're uh, trying to tame them, make sure you realize just how fast they are. Watch out for Microraptors and you should be good. When these guys are unconscious, the only thing they'll eat is rare mushrooms and plant species X seeds. That's it. They won't eat anything else, so don't even try. Um, the best thing is to just tame them with rare mushrooms. So you can get rare mushrooms by harvesting the blue flowers with the morella tops or a procoptodon, or just harvesting uh, crystals on scorched earth. These guys are really, really good at getting around the map. They travel far, they travel fast, and their jumping ability is absolutely amazing. That's why these guys come in at number 10 on the list. Also, don't forget when you're imprinting things, the first imprint, they'll give you a bonus on it. It's pretty good. All right, the next one on the list is the Morella Tops. Their saddle opens up uh, at level 11, and these guys are probably gonna be one of your best early game teams that you can get. Uh, not only can they store water that you can drink from, but they also uh, provide with a pretty beefy dinosaur that you can uh, ride on the saddle, and then you can whip out whatever weapon you're using on um, from the back without having to get hurt by anything down below you. So it, they'll actually give you pretty good edge at the beginning of the game um all right now if you're gonna tame these guys uh you can use simple kibble for it or just use uh measure berries or uh, crops if you want measure berries is very effective at it and but if you want to get away with the highest tame possible simple kibble all right, the next one is the Poison Wyvern. I know, I know, before anybody attacks me, I actually had to separate the uh, different Wyverns into different groups. I specifically have the Poison Wyvern a lot less useful than its other two counterparts. I know a lot of people really love their Wyverns. A lot of people really put, take their Wyverns very seriously. Now, the only reason why the Poison Wyvern is down here is because if you're playing PvP, Poison Wyverns are amazing. If you're not playing PvP, not so much. Now, uh, they have regular functionality with the gathering thatch, uh, stuff like that. They compare the exact same way to uh, um, the regular lightning and fire wyverns also picking up other dinosaurs, stuff like that, the big beefiness that they've got. But when it comes to the breath attack, unless you're wearing some sort of gas mask or uh, tech helmets or hazmat suit, which you cannot get on Scorched Earth normally, then these guys just aren't gonna perform as well as the other ones. So where these guys come in at number eight, and uh, yeah, that's kind of where I had to slot these. All right, and how you get these? Well, you have to collect their eggs. You have to go down into the Drake Trench, into the Wyvern Trench, you have to steal one of their eggs, and you have to raise it, which makes it a little bit more hard to get than most other things they're a pretty difficult team but once you actually have one and you know how it's done it becomes far simpler after the first one especially if you can take one and you can write it down and you can get more it's the first one that is always the hardest all right the next one is the t-rex their saddle is unlocked at level 74 and these guys the only reason why they're higher than on the tier list than the poison wyvern is because these guys can be used as boss armies to take down the manticore and very easily i might add uh the while the poison wyverns not so much now t-rexes yeah like i've said in previous videos these guys are so good they actually have an achievement out of writing your first one it's pretty impressive these guys can gather so much stuff they can so much other stuff and yeah they're just 
really, really good. Uh, you can find T-Rexes on Scorched Earth. There's actually a couple spots uh, where it's ta uh, farming T-Rexes and taming T-Rexes. It's the easiest that there ever is in the game. It really is. It's called the T-Rex Triangle. I've done a couple videos on it. It's really effective on how to get uh, a very easy boss army on Scorched Earth. When you're knocking these guys out, I would recommend long neck. Definitely long neck with trank darts. Don't mess around with anything else. Just get them out and get them unconscious as quick as possible. When you want to tame these guys, you can use exceptional kibble, raw meat, raw mutton, uh, raw prime meat, and yeah. Yeah, I, I would recommend kibble though, especially if you're going for a boss army. All right, next one on the list is Rock Elemental. These guys are rather impressive with just some of the stuff they can do. You unlock their saddle at level 70. You can find these guys pretty much all over the wild on Scorched Earth, and uh, sometimes uh, they'll pop up exactly where you didn't want them to. All right, now you knock them out with any kind of blunt force trauma to the head, be it rocket launcher, cannon shot to the head, anything of the sort. Uh, they're, when you're trying to tame them, uh, I would recommend using either Extraordinary Kibble or Sulfur. I wouldn't go with any of the other things, even though they will take clay and they will take stone, I wouldn't do that. Even Sulfur will tank its uh, taming effectiveness. So if you don't have Kibble, use Sulfur. Now for these guys, these guys are beefy. They are tanky. They can take out just about anything and they take reduced damage from just about anything. There's a couple things that do bypass their damage reduction, but those things are few and far between. So if you want to take out big um, groups of uh, wyverns, these guys are your go-to. They will do it and they will do it in spades. All right, the next on this list is one of my personal favorites, the Mantis. Now, y'all unlock their saddle at level 45, and these guys are absolutely one of the best gathering mounts in the entire game, especially when bred and imprinted. You can take and put um, all sorts of any primitive tools inside of their uh, hands, be it uh, picks, hatchets, swords, sickles, anything of the sort like that, even wooden clubs to use to knock things out. Uh, you can charge at things to uh, um, harvest it, um, even more resources at once. And it's absolutely impressive the amount of resources Mantis can gather, especially when you've got bread and imprinted ones and you pump nothing but weight on them. They can carry just a ton of stuff. It is absolutely impressive. That's why these guys come in at number six. These guys are 100% passive tame. It takes a little bit of bug repellent and some death worm horns to sneak up behind them. I would recommend using Gilly as well, but it's completely doable. Just make sure you have the bug repellent. It's kind of nice. All right, the next one is the Jerboa. They're these little cute guys you can find at level one all over the map. Yeah, these guys, they are humble in their origin and you get them early on, but you will use these guys the entire time you're on Scorched Earth. They are really easy tames. All you do is knock them out. You can put uh, measure berries in their inventory and they'll love you for life. As long as you don't get them killed because remember they do just come at level one. Yeah. Uh, but uh, when you're out and about in the high desert and you need to know when that heat wave is coming or that sandstorm is about to get there, these guys will tell you. And uh, by learning the different signs that they show you, you can definitely learn exactly which storm is about to hit you and you can make a decision on whether or not you want to just plop down a tent or get out of dodge. Your, your call. But these guys are amazing. That's why they're coming at number five. All right, next up is the Argent coming in at number four. You unlock their saddle at level 62, and this saddle, whoa, it's amazing just what it will give you. There's so much functionality. It is a full operating smithy. Plus, also, the Argent has weight reduction on just about everything, including the kitchen sink. If you want to get from point A to point B with carrying a ton of metal, you can breed these guys. You can imprint them. You can get some bread for either um, health stamina damage or weight or all of the above it these guys will be one of your best friends at least until you get a really good trusting wyvern now wyverns are faster but when it comes to utility argents are absolutely amazing when you're um, knocking these guys out you can find them just about anywhere in the cliffs on scorched earth I would recommend using either a crossbow or a long neck. You can trap them if you want to. It's not really required. You can knock them out just out in the open, or you can use other different tactics. A lot of people have different tactics. Uh, when you're taming them, you can use either raw meat, prime meat, mutton, 
or also superior kibble. All right, next up is the Thylacolio. These guys are amazing. Once you're able to finally unlock these guys or unlock their saddle at level 51, the entire map kind of opens up to you. Not so much as a uh, Wyvern, but almost as much. If you need to tame something on the ground, these guys are your uh, mount because you can just fire right from the back on these guys and they become your own personal taming pin. You don't no longer even have to trap things. You can just chase them down on the back of a thyla and knock them out. It is really, really effective. Now, uh, for taming these guys, you can use either raw mutton or um, extraordinary kibble. I wouldn't use anything else other than that because the um, taming effect in those tanks during that time and also... Scorched Earth has one of the easiest and best ways of finding and taming a Thylacolio. There's a couple other maps that are a little bit easier th to find a nice high-level Thylacolio, but Scorched Earth has a spot that I like to personally refer to as the Thylacolio Triangle that I've done several videos on that make it really, really easy for finding a nice high-level Thylacolio. And once you have one of these suckers bred, oh yeah, you can go get your own wyvern eggs with these guys. They are absolutely impressive. You can use these guys to get your first wyvern egg and then use the wyvern eggs to get the other wyvern eggs. It, they're that impressive. All right, now coming in at number one is the wyvern, or more specifically, the fire wyvern and then the lightning wyvern. I think that the lightning wyvern is a little bit better than the fire wyvern, but that's just my own personal opinion. A lot of people uh, disagree on that, and the poll that I uh, posted inside Discord came back with mixed results on which people prefer, the fire wyvern or the lightning wyvern. The fire wyvern has the wonderful ability of being able to light things on fire and being able to... Uh, be immune to the alpha wyvern um, fire damage that's coming at you while the lightning wyvern actually will deal a ton of upfront damage with their uh, with their lightning attack it is rather impressive just be careful not to jump off your saddle while you're breathing with the lightning wyvern because it will kill you and it is a very embarrassing result Try it at least once. <laughs> All right, but yeah, these guys, they can pick up a ton of the dinosaurs on the map. They can carry a ton of weight. They can go really far. They can go really fast. These guys are really, really good at what they do. And these guys are the apex dino of Scorched Earth for a reason. All right, so hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the list. If you did, make sure you click that like button. But before we go, I'd like to do a couple honorary mentions. All right, Phoenixes, they are absolutely impressive in what they can do. They can fly fast, they can poop pearls, they can cook your meat, they can cook your metal. But with the availability of these guys, there's only one on the map. They're much like a unicorn, and the only time to find them is during a heat wave. Um, I would have put them higher on the list, but they are so rare that I don't think they deserve to have any of this um, any of the spots because frankly you're not going to be using them except for the very very end game and the next special mention is the tapajara these guys they're really if they could carry something in their claws they would be so much better with their multi-passenger saddle and also being able to uh, fly like a VTOL jet they're actually really, really cool. Plus, you can use these guys to go get your first egg if uh, going into the trench with a Thylacolio isn't your cup of tea. All right, so if you haven't already, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo, and take it easy, everybody. And also, do you agree with the list? Uh, if you don't, or if you uh, um, enjoyed the list, make sure you leave a comment down below. I'll be reading them, and I really, much, I really appreciate it. Take it easy, everybody.